Welcome everyone to Mario's Paint Class. My name is Romario. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is a very special video. Our prepper becomes a big time painter. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. All right, Diaz, why don't you tell us what's going on? How did you get this prepped? How was the whole entire process going through this? Well, I started with the fender. There was damage right here. It was actually caved in. I took the fender off. I hammered it out. We put some Bondo on it. We primed it. And the customer wanted to take it a step further and put this fender in as well. So that way we can finish the whole front end off for them. We also did the lip and the front bumper as well. All right, guys, you heard the man. A lot of time and work was invested into this one to get it to this stage. So now giving it a final clean get in the tack cloth to pick up any lint that's left over from cleaning and then he's gonna lay down some sealer. guys here's a quick tip when spraying pearl colors depending on which one you're spraying it's a good idea to get the burn throughs primed or sealed before painting because it will give you a hard time to get coverage and sometimes you can easily miss that and when you put it out in the sun you realize oh my god I have no paint here
now take a look guys Diaz is all done with the base coat and you can see that it looks nice and smooth and the blending transition looks really good you saw that he didn't do anything special he just watched where the paint is going and he did his thing now if you're not getting nice smooth transitions and paint jobs like this just double check a few things double check your technique the gun and your prep work and that's usually where the problem lies with that being said Diaz is gonna go ahead and start laying down some click and today is a very cold day guys it's about 56 degrees Diaz is using the medium hardener and he's not trying to get this completely wet on his first coat because you do not want a run on your first coat so he's just getting some meat on there and then on the second coat he's gonna take care of all the dry spot making sure that it's completely wet just wow the clear was laid down nice and glossy everything was done right from the prep to the paint to the clear now there's a little bit of dirt all he got to do is do a little wet sanding and buffing and it's golden you can see how good this looks i'm very proud of diaz on this one Alright guys, so we have Pin Society in the booth and Diaz, he just finished laying down the clear coat so we're gonna talk a little bit of what went down here. It looks good. I can tell you any paint job you do, man, it is tough. You learn so much. What did you learn yeah. from this one? What did I learn? I learned uh, a little bit of body work on this one. Yeah, body work, laying it down. Just and then some, down, yeah. sometimes what I, what I learn is like, panels are so big you kind of get overwhelmed right like the hood yeah, yeah it's because like, i had to actually put three coats on the hood because yeah. the first two were getting a little bit kind of dry yeah but when i put that third one it kind of like flattened it out a little bit more and it's far man oh no, yeah definitely it's far to reach but you did a good job and man when we let us and buff this this is oh, yeah, even better stuff really good a great first time a lot of a lot of information a lot of learning and you just remember this job because this is one of your real first big jobs yes. and you have the bumper so make sure you get a shot of the bumper mm -hmm. the lift everything and then we get it back together man this is a little great good job man thank you man. all right appreciate it <laughs> now there you have it guys awesome job done he took what he learned from mario's paint class and brian from paint society and produce beautiful work with it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna show you what it all looks like when it's all put together.